Hey you guys, so today we are looking at this which is the character options, it's the latest TARDIS. Um, I have been dreading this a little bit because I know what episode this is from and the title has a word in it that I feel I say wrong. I never noticed it really but lately when I saw this was coming I, I sort of was thinking about it and I have a real issue with saying the word abominable, abominable, Abom abominable, the abominable, see, the abominable snowman, the abominable, no, the abominable snowman, I'm just going to call him snowman, right, so this is the box, all the stuff on there, it comes inside, I already opened, I already opened the seal, and it's backwards, there we go. So, this is the TARDIS from the <coughs> Snowman, uh, which is a lost story, so I haven't, I haven't really watched it. I know I've watched it, but it's not one I remember, because it was just episodes, I think. Um, there's the back, the second Doctor and electronic TARDIS with the Abominable Snowman 1967 collector series set with lights and sound effects. Character options on that exclusive, all the legal easy stuff on the bottom internet exclusives it takes three triple a batteries it has nice artwork on the side there it's in the back nice artwork on the top which is upside down there we go and nice artwork on the side and there he is this is the doctor held in with bits of string and the tardis which is a slightly different paint job from the usual tardis because it's had kind of a i suppose it's supposed to look snowy so it's had kind of a whitewash over it but still, looks kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, look, you can see my face in the reflection. Yeah. So, let's get this open and see what it looks like inside. Yes, yeah, so I have I have trouble saying the word abominable. So I'm going to try not to say it too often. I don't really think I need to say it now. I will say that that on the back there is all very interesting. I will hold it like that for a while. There you go, I've rid of that. You want to do the freeze frames and read it and stuff. Hmm. So yes, this was a very interesting choice for them to make. That comes out of there. Oh, there's all the pamphlets and things. All right. Usual. Hmm, got instructions with this one. So there we go. Troubleshooting and general care. Tardis having all right. First install three fresh clean AAA batteries in battery compartment in the back of the TARDIS as shown, figure one. Ensuring the correct photo there. Yes, switch on. Uh -huh. Sound off light and sound effects lights. The closed doors first generally push on the left hand door, then press the hidden switch. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the usual. I'll say it is, it is like the older, the older versions. Switch on, now active for five minutes. Switch off open from your sleep mode. Open front door, no results. Hmm, okay. So yeah, Lee, yes. Instructions. And I'm a man, so I'm going to throw the instructions down there. Right, so here we have the Doctor himself on this side, held in with bits of string, which is kind of cool. The TARDIS is also held in with some bits of string. Let's say it's got like a, a mucky wash on it. The door, I feel like it will open. So, um, let's see if we can untie these bits of strings. I'm looking for me scissors. I've lost my scissors. I was, I was disappointed a little bit because I ordered this reasonably early and I, I live, I don't know if you can tell from my accent, up here in the north like, and this has come from Oldham, which isn't that far away really. It still took three days, so hmm. right. I'm going to. I was going to try and un unravel this, but I'm going to go find the scissors and I'll do it properly. So this is out of box. Um, well, this is the back of the box. As you can see down here, we have one of the um, Yetis. I came up with that idea. Call it Yeti because I can't say Bonneville Snowman. Um, it does look more like it's raining than snowing, but 
is there's a monastery. Oops, can't see for the shine. There. There's a monastery on the hillside back there. Yeah, that is kind of nice. And there is a TARDIS. So we have the Doctor in his fur coat. We have the TARDIS with this kind of white weathered look. I think it's supposed to be because it's in the snow. Um, I will be honest, I haven't seen the episode because it's one of the lost ones. So I've never really... I've watched bits of it. I've watched the few episodes that exist, but I don't think... I don't remember ever seeing the TARDIS in it. So there's a face, which I think is probably the best um patrick chapman we've seen for a while he's got a really good likeness for him very blue eyes and this is about tie sort of half half tied under there the fur coat held together with a piece of string this is one rubber pretty much sealed tight uh, the pants with the check pattern on them and the brown shoes um yeah this is obviously a sealed piece so it's not movable uh the head turns like so that's it no tilt forward or backwards arms all the way around there is a swivel but it is a kind of a weird swivel because it's gonna fight with the coat elbows like so down <coughs> oh, excuse me I've <laughs> I've got hay fever in my throat. It's really dry. It's really warm in it. So yes, the hands will twist. They only seem to twist one way. Um, knees to there. That's about it. But the legs do uh, turn all the way around. So yeah, he is, you know, relatively stable. And uh, there we go. Yeah, he stands pretty well. So let's shift him out of the way and have a look at the TARDIS. So as you can see, it's got this kind of white weathering on it, um, which I, I guess is supposed to look like snow. This sticker should be on that side, but it's on this side and it is slightly cockeyed, but apparently from what I can guess from looking at odd pictures, it's supposed to be. I did notice some people were complaining that this bit was coming off, but mine seems to be relatively sturdy. There is a little bit of a gap there. You can see, but other than that, it seems to be staying on. I did kind of hope to get this a bit earlier, but living up here in the north, because this comes from Oldham, but it did get here late. There is a speaker in the back. There is where you put the batteries. Underneath we have the uh, proxy as goth side. Uh -huh, UKCA. All the legal easy stuff under there. Catch options and stuff. Yep, the big button that you press yeah you can see the little light through there i'm talking the light let's try so landing oh landing's a pretty short and take off it doesn't have the spinny wheel on this So there is the sticker, which is, or the sign anyway, that is on the wrong side on this one. The lock is also, well I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn that off so you can see. I have, where is it, there is, the previous TARDIS that they made for the second Doctor, which is pretty much the same. Except this is a slight, well, slightly darker colour, this is black. Um, see, the sticker is on the right side, it is a different sticker as well. Like I say, in the original episode, I think it is slightly cockeyed, so they have stuck to that. I will say that I was hoping that the, the sound effect... It says on the back of the box that there was a mistake in the episode and they played the landing sound and the takeoff sound too slow. That sounds about the right speed. So, yeah. Yeah. As you can see, it is pretty much the same TARDIS. The sticker there is different. Like I said, that's on a different side. Obviously, this one has 
a speaker behind it and actually has a screw in the hole rather than it just being glued down. I did see somebody on um, eBay complaining that they bought one of these and I think it was not this one, I think it was one of the Pertwee ones. That they tried to, they there was no battery compartment in it and it was disgusting. And everybody was like, yeah, because there's not supposed to be a battery compartment in it. So, yes, yeah, so they have generally used the same TARDIS. They've just given it a bit of a weather. The windows have got blue lining on it, as you can see. So, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty accurate. It's another TARDIS for the shelf. I just have to decide now which one is going on the shelf. Just out of interest while we're here he comes in at just a little bit under a little bit over should i say five inches or around the 13 centimeter mark so that's a pretty good size he is exactly the same size as his previous incarnation hello there um the only thing is he has a bit better tan he has better eyes so close up there we go focus there we go this one is definitely the new one is definitely a better face on it even though it's probably the same face i think hmm, maybe not the hair is different Some of these because it's going to focus on them while i'm doing this and the hair looks different there's a slight it's not that they're not quite painted it right on this one but yeah I think that's a better head. If I had the skills, I would properly swap the heads over. But then I do like that doctor. It's something different, isn't it? The shoes are a lighter brown. The check on the trousers is, and the trousers in general are a different colour. But it does look like it's the same body underneath here. So, yeah. yeah. It is the same figure, really, but he's just got a coat on. Yeah. I like, I, I like to say... I now have to make the decision because I have a shelf with my TARDISes on and then my doctor stood on another shelf which TARDIS I'm going to put on the shelf because I'm actually running out of room on that shelf. He looks he looks grubby and I thought that it needed dusting but that is actually dirt on his coat which is impressive. Uh, I will say that my Doctor Who shelf recently took a dive so that's pretty much been destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I like these guys. Um, I th I think maybe that one's going to get proud of place. That one's going to go on the other shelf in the other room. Just out of interest, I was going to show off that the sound effects are the same as this one, which is uh, one of the latter TARDISes. But unfortunately, the batteries are flying up. <laughs> and I only have one set of AAAs at a minute so yeah not very professional i know but still that's me <laughs> not professional mm. right so that is the review of these um if you have enjoyed this please hit the like button down there if you've really enjoyed it and you're new here then please hit that subscribe button it will be a huge help to the channel you know all that sort of stuff that we do at the end of the videos yeah that's it guys hope you'll have a great day hope you'll have a great night and well, we'll see you all in the next video Bye now.